would like to read a few lines about Kashmir, sir, from a Sufi poet called Amir Khushraw. He said, if there is paradise on earth, it is this, it is this, and it is this. This is how much we all think about Kashmir. Nestled in the foothills of Himalayas, the Kashmir region is a celebrated and esteemed for its ineffable and incomparable aesthetic wonder and charming beauty. Beautiful lakes, acres of Mughal gardens, mighty snow-capped mountains, rich saffron fields, vibrant meadows, crystalline gla glaciers are just some of Kashmir's natural features and landscape which are in this poetry, which is the paradise of Earth, sir. However, Kashmir's paradise in many ways brutally violated and its peace has been plundered for various reasons, sir. But the flourishing meadows, stark mountains and the vast fields, motives of freedom, but with hundreds and thousands of military forces scrutinizing Kashmir, freedom feel like a faraway and an elusive force. Nonetheless, beyond each blossoming tulip, flower fields and wild-eyed smile lies a story, a story of Kashmir. Kashmir is essential a region of stark contrast. It's actually a story of paradoxes. For beauty exists despite of its bloodiness, faith, tenacity, inner peace can be seen its local residents amid all these activities which have happened in these decades. Fragments of paradise can be found despite the most hellish of horrors. Hope we reignited with all the hope seems to be forsaken. Kashmir is a place that beckons your soul, stirs your spirit, converses with your heart and dwells in your mind long after your body has departed. So I think Kashmir has really been through a, a very difficult journey. And administration is something which is continuity. Yes, it has had its red spots, black spots, it has had its moments. And I think unanimously everybody has contributed to the journey of Kashmir. So I think we can't just isolate one bad story to the glorious part and the contribution in India's development, tourism, growth, beauty story, cultural story of India will be always incomplete without Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh. So I think now we really need to look at the larger picture. We have to stop being a prisoner of the past and history. Because every time I see the Bharatiya Janata Paksha, I saw the leader speaking, the first uh, person from the Treasury bench. I thought he'll enlighten us with what has achieved in the last four years. But I couldn't hear much from him, unfortunately. And I nor do I want to get into a swing in March because I genuinely owe a lot to Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh because it has given me my finest happy family moments which I ever have to look back in my life of my five decades would be all connected to Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh. Sir, I absolutely welcome the decision and the reservation decision taking. But I would like to suggest to the Honorable Home Minister, who's been so large-hearted about this reservation in Jammu and Kashmir, I would like to make a suggestion to him that instead of bringing piecemeal programs about reservation, why doesn't he bring a comprehensive bill, pan-India about reservation? The state where I come from, sir, Maharashtra, today is having huge challenges with Maratha, Dhangar, Lingayat, and Muslim reservation issues, pan Maharashtra. The same thing resonated in Mangpul's by speech in Uttar Pradesh. In Rajasthan, the same. So why doesn't this entire house sit together, put their minds together and find amicable solution in the larger interest of this nation be on a discussion of reservation for all states? So when it comes to my state, it's about Maratha, Lingayat, Dhangar, or Muslim Samaj ki arakshan ki bahut baat ho rahi So I was just trying to connect the two dots and see if you can do it in Jammu Kashmir, why cannot be applicable to my state, which is actually burning right now. So this is something I would like to put forward in front of the Honorable uh, Home Minister. I would like to ask the Honorable Home Minister, who I remember his speech. It was when uh, he said it in the old parliament building. He told us his dream and his plans for Jammu Kashmir. And we were also quite keen on it, because who doesn't want peace? So we all thought and we had put our hopes in him and hoping that there will really be a huge change in Jammu Kashmir, the lifestyles of the people. And I would like to ask, and I remember him committing to good investments on the floor of the house in the old building and to elections. Unfortunately, that has not happened. And I would like to put the urban local bodies, which Saugata Babu said in his speech, I would like to take that point forward, that the urban local bodies uh, elections which were to be held in Kash uh, Srinagar have been postponed and the excuse given or the reason given would be delimitation. Now, had they not thought about this before? 
एंड चार साल हो गए सर डीलिमिटेशन का तो होमवर्क पहले भी कर सकते थे सो वॉट इज द रीजन दैट यू वॉन्ट टू गिव दम फ्रीडम यू वॉन्ट अ डेमोक्रेटिक कंट्री द फर्स्ट मैसेज यू हैव टू गिव टू द पीपल ऑफ जम्मू कश्मीर एंड लद्दाख इज टू हैव अ फेयर इलेक्शन इन दैट कंट्री सो हमारी मांग रहेगी कि पहले आप वहाँ एक इलेक्शन ले लीजिए दिस इज आई थिंक रियली गोइंग टू बी द ऑनेस्ट कमिटमेंट दैट द ऑनरेबल होम मिनिस्टर मेड टू दिस नेशन एंड वी ट्रस्टेड इट आई एम नॉट सींग वी मिस ट्रस्ट इम नाउ बट आई वॉन्ट टू पुट इट ऑन रिकॉर्ड दैट वी आर रियली होपफुल दैट दे वॉक द टॉक द अदर थिंग सर आई वुड लाइक टू हाईलाइट इज द टूरिज्म आई हैव माई सेल्फ बीन टू कश्मीर इन द लास्ट थ्री ईयर्स वंस and clearly the tourism has improved but let's have some data tourism is 7% of jammu kashmir and ladakh's development story so if you look at the economy only 7% is uh, of the entire uh, bowl of kashmir if you say so if only tourism is 7% of the economy then what about the horticulture what about the agriculture what about the changes in climate that are having हमारे भी किसान दिक्कत में है महाराष्ट्र में बिकॉज ऑफ क्लाइमेट चेंज द सेम इशू कंटिन्यूज टू हैपन इन जम्मू कश्मीर एंड लद्दाख सो वॉट इज देर अ प्लान दिस गवर्नमेंट हैज वीज अ वी क्लाइमेट चेंज विद एग्रीकल्चर एंड हॉर्टिकल्चर एंड वॉट आर देर प्लान फॉर जम्मू कश्मीर कंसिडरिंग दे डोंट हैव अ गवर्नमेंट इन प्लेस अगर किसी आम आदमी को कुछ मदद लगे तो किसके बाद वो तो एल जी को नहीं मिल सकता तो वॉट इज द प्लान दे हैव फॉर ऑल दीज लाइक किसान हो युवा हो महिला हो लाइक दे से दैट इज द न्यू धर्म ऑफ द बीजेपी सो वी रियली वॉन्ट टू सी दम वॉक द टॉक for all these four uh, verticals that are unemployment like sagata babu said unemployment is at its peak in india and so is it in jammu kashmir so what specific intervention are they doing for unemployment and one point which is alarming in kashmir today is electricity aaj dharne ho rahe har jagah uh, jammu kashmir aur ladakh mein srinagar mein 10 10 ghante ka power cut hota hai sir so what has really happened in the last 4 years what magic has happened if there is no electricity how are all the other things going to work so these are some things which i'd like to i'm sure the honorable home minister would throw some light and enlighten us on how these things are going to be taken forward and if there is a gap of electricity ek bar india mein kehte hai there's a surplus of electricity so national grid se kyu jammu kashmir ladakh mein nahi ja rahe bijli why do people our brothers and sisters and our children in jammu kashmir have to suffer With no electricity for 12 hours in a place like Srinagar. अगर Srinagar में 12 घंटे बिजली नहीं है, तो बाकी के जो छोटे-छोटे गांव हैं वहाँ क्या होता होगा सर? So this is something we need to really discuss. The other big point, which I was coming by, to, which is my last point, sir, that yes, things are better, but that doesn't mean they are okay. In September 2023 and in November 2023, there have been two major attacks, and we have lost. वेरी वेरी ब्रेव सन्स ऑफ इंडिया दे आर आवर सन सर ये शहीद हुआ है देश के बच्चे और उसमें कौन है कर्नल मनप्रीत सिंह मेजर आशीष धोनचक डी वाई एस पी इन जे एन के पुलिस हुमायून भट दिस इज इन सप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री इन नवम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री द मार्टर्स आर कैप्टन एम वी प्रांजल कैप्टन शुभम गुप्ता हरिभा अब्दुल मजिद लांस नाइक संजय बिश्त and paratroopers sachin laur these are people in rajouri and punch where there is a problem so we can't say everything is wonderful pehle se behtar hai zarur hai aur acche ko acha bolna chahiye to jo acha hua hai uske liye i do compliment the government but a lot needs to be done everything is not okay because we've lost our sons so tourism has gone up yes it has but when we lose our sons of soil then really can we say the wonderful stories about kashmir <coughs> and say oh we are so happy tourism has gone up but when are so many sons have gone bachche shaheed hue is desh ke ladke hai naujawan hai so we really need to introspect it's not just about thumb chesting and oh my god we have done something wonder sir we really need to walk the talk wo maa janti hai jiska beta wahan shaheed hua hai wo biwi janti hai uska dukh uske bacche jante hai uska dukh for us these are names we will pray shraddhanjali adaranjali to them ko zinda unko rehna hai unki family ka dukh roz humko nahi pata wo unke unke biwi maa aur bachchon ko hi wo dukh pata hai so i think this house needs to be far more synthetic we need to be more empathetic more compassion towards jammu kashmir and it's not about them versus us i think we all love kashmir equally so it's not that they have done something wonderful and we did something disastrous not at all and let's put some data kashmir was always very tourist friendly people hosted us they opened their homes to us so they have been wonderful proud indians 
and I would like to talk about Farooq Abdullah ji's family's contribution in making sure that Kashmir remained an integral part of India. If it happened, I will put it on record. It's only because of his family and the commitment at that time that Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru did in the United Nations and Lord Mountbatten's contribution at that time. The way they negotiated it, that India, they stayed with us, they loved and all the reason for many, many decades that there was no violence there is the contribution of Dr. Farooq Abdullah and his entire family. So I would like to even, so it's a combination. And ye, it's not only that, even the Mufti family. Abdullah family also was their partners and so were the Muftis. So today it's not fair that just because they're on this side, they've done a bad job. And if they're on that side, they have a good job. I think अच्छे को जा हम भी कह सकते तो आप भी थोड़ा बड़ा दिल दिखाइए and I think we are committed to contributing and supporting this government in whatever way they we can in a small way that we can to make sure that the peace happiness of Kashmir comes back and every Indian who's so proud of this jewel in our crown to make sure it's a safe place. And it's a secure place and every child gets a good quality education. Every senior citizen has good freedom, good, uh, he has to have good quality hospitals there without power cuts. So I think it's a large picture. Many things have been discussed. These are two small steps in the larger good of Kashmir, but still a lot more needs to be done. So it's not, and we would like prefer that these decisions get taken in their own assembly. Why should we do decisions for somebody else's assembly? We are only looking at India as a piece. We don't want to take state decisions. Unfortunately, sir, today even during question hour, assembly ke sawal am parliament mein chinta kare. I think I remember and I'd like to quote Arun Jaitli ji, who used to always support cooperative federalism. I think cooperative, I mean, I miss Arun ji so much in the house and Sushma ji both, because if there were two leaders in the BJP who believed in cooperative federalism, was Sushma ji and Arun ji. And I think we would like to resonate, remember them, and I hope from what I've said, the BJP remembers their senior leaders who really fought for cooperative federalism and gives the fair rights to the people of Jammu, Kashmir and Ladakh, which were an entire state by itself, which is broken into three. No point disagreeing or agreeing with what has happened. But I hope the BJP and the central government is committed to make, bringing up all the glory of Jammu, Kashmir and the, all the people, giving them a fair and a happy life in the future. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Sri Hasnan Masoodi ji. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.